Hello, this is a quick look at the LEGO Minecraft set called The Frozen Peaks. It comes with 304 pieces and I built it live over on Twitch. It cost me $35 US and if you're interested in purchasing it, I've got it tagged on the video here. This includes three minifigures if you call the the creeper a minifigure and if you call the stray a minifig i think the, the stray counts the goat up here counts as like 10 minifigures because goats are goats even though it's not a specialized mold that's minifig compatible it's minecraft specific uh, it's still a goat and it still deserves respect as such the shaping of this is pretty nice it gives you a lot of opportunities to place minifigures in different different spots and minifigures and, and mobs you know even though it's 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 very compact, you know, relative to the size of a minifig. It still gives you plenty of play opportunities. And particularly, if you bring a figure up to here and they're not supposed to be there, well, your goat can can goat it. Because that's because that's what goats do, right? <laughs> simple, simple action feature right there. Uh, you can also blow up a little portion of it as part of your own personal excavation uh, activities or if you want to simulate a creeper doing the creeper thing there's a simple action feature over here push down and the wall just falls off as one single thing that makes it very very easy to reset it put it back like so and then you're good to go that's convenient that's good for play as opposed to having a whole bunch of things that shatter might have felt more Satisfying to have everything shatter, but it's a lot better long term to have it actually set up this way. Got a little bit of clay over here. One very small tree. I keep shrinking these down, but I get it. And I, I'm fine with that. They don't need to have a huge tree. This still gets the point across and you can still potentially put, some, you know, have, have some climbing there. You have a minifigure go up there. Not that the stray necessarily should go up that far. There's some, uh, some milk over here, some dripstone for this cave. And you come around the back of the cave and you can see it has been converted for temporary use right now. Got uh, some a uh, few ores, including emerald ore was on the front. Uh, we're gonna have to think about that and look into it a little bit, little bit more. Bed over here, crafting table, some mushrooms are growing inside and the modern style of, sorry about that, eh, top for one of these. And inside, some bread, cherries, and diamond sword, good, good. It's almost closes up. That's that's just it though. And this again, this this whole layout just it kind of kind of makes sense to me. Kind of kind of works. Doesn't doesn't have a whole lot of frills to it. But yeah, again, it just makes sense to me to me personally because it lets you get access all around, and it provides some different spaces some different styles of, of spaces with the the open area here you have exploration the idea of opening up a cave getting inside the idea of already being inside the idea of having your own base here an interior space the idea of going up against mobs and having them affect you and affect your environment not too shabby the mobs again are the classic style of creeper just the original hasn't really changed at all since day one. Uh, goat over here, which is able to angle his head down and up, has a specialized mold just for the headpiece there, and just a little bit of color in the body. Otherwise, fairly straightforward, but does the trick well. And then the stray, a little bit of controversy with stray. Stray originally had a cloth piece to go around it, the, the tattered cloth, which it no longer does. That does feel like a loss to me. Uh, that was an extra special piece but if I had never seen the original, I, I wouldn't feel like this was a terrible Lego rendition of it. I think I'm just spoiled by having gotten the original uh, when they first came out with it, which was even better than this. Nice to get the, the gold, sorry about that, gold armor piece though. And the print looks, looks fine. Because the internet is the internet, there's been ferocious fighting, tons and tons of insults thrown around about this. It's bright green colored armor on a Steve and probably just represents dyed leather, but it could potentially represent an as yet unreleased emerald style or emer emerald based armor set. Could that possibly happen? Yes, it could possibly happen. We've not heard any, heard any rumors that it will, but it is a possibility. 
I think it's a cool possibility. If it doesn't happen, that's that's okay. It's just dyed in leather. Or for folks who don't care about any of that stuff, it's just green armor. Yeah? On otherwise just a regular Steve. Now the face print for this Steve is fairly crisp. That's good. It's been smudged. Too many of the Minecraft faces have been smudged, but it's not as opaque as it ought to be. The skin tone should be better. There's no other print on the on the torso other than just a little bit of skin tone that you see right there, which is also a little bit too pale for me. These are the leftover pieces and no stickers were used in the build of this set. Again, I paid $35 US for this. It's 35 euros or 30 pounds UK. And I think that price is, is fine. I would have liked to see one more mob or figure for that price, at least, at least a, a medium small built mob or just knock $5 off the price. And I think we'll, I think we'll be in, in a good place, a good space that, that feels comfortable to me. So this is definitely within the range and hopefully it'll go on a little bit of a discount and be a pretty standard, normal, good value. Yeah, all, all in all though, good design, nice selection of all the things that are included here. It gives you plenty of activities and there are plenty of opportunities to connect this to other sets that have been made. So all in all, good design. Yeah, I like it. Thank you very much for watching. As always, more content to come. Uh, you can see most of my builds on Twitch, some of them on the Jangbricks channel from time to time, and all of my reviews right here. Bye for now.